today in this video we will learn a ftp related error in linux that is could not connect to server while i am trying to connect to my server with the john dk user using port 22 that is sftp it is not working and it is giving me error could not connect to server so we will try to troubleshoot this and we will find out why this is happening hello friends welcome to my channel linux ehub if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to like share and comment also hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified when i'll upload new videos let's start we will troubleshoot in four steps that is first we will check the permission issue if from my desktop there is permission to the server it is working or not we have to troubleshoot it first then we will go for the service then we will go for the configuration and they will we will check the user issue using these four steps we will try to troubleshoot the error so first we will check the permission if my desktop have the permission to connect the server with sftp that is port 22 let's check if it is working or not for that we have to use the command telnet server ip that is ipa is the command to show the ip so we will copy the ip then port is 22 yes you can see that i have the permission to the server using the port 22 so there is no issue for the permission related so then we will check the service issue you all know that sftp uh, in linux uses the service uh, is the open sss that is service is the sssd so here we will check the service status for that command is service sssd status yes you can see that service also active and running that means there is no issue in the service then we will go for the configuration issue how we will check we can check the configuration files but that is not required if you have another user you can try that i have the another user that is uh, duke duke i will try to connect using the duke user using port 22 yes you can see that duke user is working perfectly that means i have only the john dk users john dk users having the permission issue or john dk user having some issue that is blocking to the sftp service and it is showing me the error so for troubleshoot that what i have to do i have to check if that user is present or not for that i have to use the command cat cat slash etc passwd pipe grep grep john dk you can see that john dk user is present but that is not working that means there might be some password related issue but if there is a password related issue here you it will prompt uh, password is wrong but it is giving something other error that that is could not connect to server so what we can do we can check the user status using the command chag chag minus l j o h n d k john dk here you can see that password must be changed password expiry password must be changed that means users account password is changed so sorry uh, users password is expired and we have to change the password if you don't have the root users permission to access the server you can do another thing you can directly login to the server using john dk user have to give the password yes you can see that your password has expired and it is asking for the changing the password here i have to give the current password here i have to give the new password yes password has changed uh, now let's try to log in the server again
Yes, you can see that. Now, John DK user, user can able to log in the server. So, let us try using the file the client. Establish in a new tab. Yes, you can see that listening directory home John DK and it is working perfectly. And now we can able to use the SFTP use the using the user John DK. So what we have learned here. If you will see the could not connect to server error while using the SFTP at that time, we show that user's password has expired and we need to change it. And to check the user's status, we have to use the command change-l username that will show the user's status. Okay. Thank you friends. Thank you watching this video and I am, re I am requesting you don't skip the video and watch the video till end. Thank you. Thank you very much.